I wanted to talk tonight about uh, something that's been on my mind. Um, I'm, a, I'm a baseball fan, and I wanted to talk about Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball, it's in a lot of trouble uh, these days. There's, uh, well, there's a pretty good chance there's going to be a player strike. Uh, some teams this year barely make their payroll, and they almost go under. Uh, players are running into trouble with the law. Game attendance, way, way down. Then there's the All-Star Game, big controversy. People booing the ending of the All-Star Game this year. That has never happened before. But we here at Late Night don't think all hope is lost just yet. That's why tonight we're going to do our part to save the sport in a little segment we're going to call Baseball's in Really Big Mess, But Maybe It Can Be Saved. <laughs> Be safe. Now, to begin, there's been a lot of talk in recent weeks about the players going on strike again. A lot of people are worried about those empty stadiums. Well, I'm not worried. There's lots of other uses for those empty stadiums. For example, they could serve as a great venue to host the new trend of people who dress up and reenact great XFL games. That could happen. <laughs> That's a good one right there. They could easily convert stadiums into toxic waste dumps for the sole purpose of holding all the discarded in sync and Backstreet Boys CDs. Yeah. Or they could be great places to serve up Pavarotti's morning porridge. That's always fun. <laughs> it's a big spoon. Uh, one thing that uh, could be done to make the game more exciting and win back fans is to make the game even bigger. Bigger bats would ensure more hits, and that would be more exciting, isn't it? <laughs> and bigger gloves could make for more spectacular plays in the field, like this one right here. I think that'd be amazing. <laughs> now, something that would satisfy both fans and players would be if Major League Baseball got rid of the rule that says players can't date the mascots. This would lead to couples such as uh, Ichiro Suzuki and the Seattle Mariners Moose. <laughs> Derek Jeter and the Philly Fanatic. Or no more Garcia Parra and the Pittsburgh Pirate Parrot. Now, that could be a good time. <laughs> it's the number one poster this year. It's true. All right, well, here's another thing. Folks, if baseball shuts down, the steroid manufacturers are going to want to push their product on ordinary Americans, including some people who should never be on steroids like this James Taylor impersonator. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end. I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend. I can do that too, I just choose not to. Um, folks, if professional baseball does go on strike, things could drastically change. Here's a typical conversation at a deli when there is baseball. Turkey sandwich, please. Yeah, you got it. Hey, did you see the game last night? Oh, yeah, I couldn't believe that. Yeah, me either. Three homers in the eighth? How about that? Unbelievable. Anyway, here's your sandwich. Thanks. You got it. Okay, now here's what that same transaction would be like if there was no baseball. Turkey sandwich, please. Here you go. Man, that was fast. Gee, what am I going to do with all the extra time I just saved? Uh, there was the huge controversy uh, when this year's All-Star Game ended in a 7-7 tie. The fans booed the players. No one can remember that happening. Now, maybe in all future All-Star Games, you could have special boo-worthy images ready to go on the Diamond Vision Jumbotron to immediately draw fire away from the game itself. Take a look how this would work. Ladies and gentlemen, play is suspended. The game ends in a tie. These are 
are good ideas. I hope somebody writes them down. Finally, you know, it's very hard to put this. It's a very complicated problem, what's happening to baseball right now. Someone's got to put this in perspective. Here to do that are Late Night's very own husband and wife, Soul Singers. Please welcome to tell us how they're going to fix the problem, Sweet Tree and Morgan. There's a big battle raging in the major league. They say they're running out of money. And just we get The fans say it's gonna ruin the game. Cause the players and the owners can't see eye to eye. Pretend I'm an owner. I pretend I'm a fan. I sit in the box seat. And I sit in the stands. We're gonna show you what the owners are doing. Lay on down, cause it's the fans they're screwing. Oh, yeah. oh, they're, they're making, making sweet love, love all night long. They're ringing the bell with my sweet ding dong. They're taking <laughs> off their clothes, <laughs> stitch by stitch. You're becoming my star. And you're becoming my bitch. Hey, hey, hey. You guys are supposed to come out here and sing about the baseball problem, not your sweet ding dong and becoming someone's bitch. Sorry. Ding dong. 